Hello, and welcome to another Astro One video presentation. Today we'll be discussing a very important concept, the interaction between light and matter. For this demonstration, we'll be zooming in on the inner workings of an atom. Every atom has a nucleus, and around it one or more electrons. In today's demonstration, Stephen will be playing the role of the electron. These electrons are particles that can interact with light. To understand this demonstration, you need to know that an electron likes to stay as close to the nucleus as possible, in what's known as the ground state. Through a variety of means, though, the electrons can absorb energy, jumping up to higher energy levels. In my hand, I have a photon, or a bundle of light energy. If this photon has just the right amount of energy, it can cause the electron to jump up to a higher energy level. Once the electron's in an excited state, it wants to jump back down to the ground level if possible, and so it will emit energy. If it jumps back down to the same initial state from where it started, it will emit a photon of exactly the same energy as it absorbed. If a photon comes along that doesn't have the right amount of energy, then the electron won't absorb it. Electrons can only be at certain distances from the nucleus, what we call discrete levels. It's like steps on a ladder. They can be at the first step, the second step, or the third step, but they can't be at step 2.5, for example. Now what if a photon of an even higher energy comes along, one that will allow the electron to jump up multiple levels? At this point, the electron now has one of two choices. It can jump back down to its initial state, emitting a photon of exactly the same energy as it absorbed, or the electron can jump down one level at a time, emitting photons of different energies than what it absorbed. This demonstration is important for understanding many concepts that we'll discuss in the future. For example, it explains why stars have dark lines or absorption lines in their spectrum. The cores of stars generates energies at many different levels, and as these photons travel through the star, they'll pass through an outer atmosphere which will absorb their favorite wavelengths, allowing the rest to pass through. This also explains why emission nebulae are red. Young hot stars near clouds of hydrogen gas give off lots of ultraviolet light. This high energy radiation can give electrons enough energy that they can free themselves from the pull of the nucleus in what we call ionization. Oh! Eventually, these electrons will recombine with the hydrogen gas, jumping down various levels. At one point, as they're jumping down, they'll give off photons of red light, causing the clouds of gas to appear red. Join us again next time as we demonstrate another exciting astronomy concept. See you next time! Eventually, the electric... <laughs>